This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. Hello friends, I'm Ernie Rodina and welcome to Ag AM in Kansas. And today we're down in Wabunsee County with a good friend, a great cowboy, and a great poet and singer. Him and his wife have the Two Bar D Ranch. This is the most beautiful decor, ranch house, your shop, Jeff, and so glad. And this guy is an unbelievable performer when it comes to singing and cowboy poetry. And I might mention your newest endeavor, you're one of the Wabunsee's newest beekeepers. I'm going to be. That's, that's right. It. But I tell you what, if you haven't done it, it's not worth doing. You know what I mean? As far as what you do and, and your music, and I just love your house. Oh, thank you. Really thank you. Good. And I appreciate you coming, Ernie, and, and it's just been a blast. We've we've been here a long time, um, and, but we're we're finally getting to do some things we really want to do. This so. poetry deal, I mean, you, you're, you're the real deal. That's how I always describe you, the real deal, because these poems that you do are lifetime experiences you've had you're on the ranch and you got the passion of the west and the cowboy uh, i mean you just have really taken off with this i guess that's what makes it easy for me is is because it is stuff that i've actually done so i don't have to memorize anything because if i had to do that i'd be in trouble but uh, just true life experiences and and being fortunate enough to have a, a good wife, Dawn, that, that pulls the plow with me and, and just being able to do what we want to do. We're going to get Dawn on. I'll tell you, she's been my partner as far as with the radio for right. going on 12 years. Right. Been doing an unbelievable. We, we've had a nice journey we've had, Jeff, and all of us. And, uh, just, and it's neat to see where it's going. And it's going to go right down the road with that new bus that you got. Tell us about That's the bus right. you got. And we're, gonna, we're gonna, the next time, do an interview from that bus. Oh, uh, thank you. We just, a uh, lifelong dream, um, you know, to travel and do stuff like we do and, and work every day. But uh, we uh, recently acquired our first bus and uh, we'll show it to you next time. We're, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Now you look after a really nice ranch out here. Tell us a little bit of background of that ranch and hopefully we'll get to go out there on some of it. Yeah, it was one of the most historic ranches in this part of the country, Ernie, and, and uh, it uh, was founded in the, in the 1800s and uh, still around. Uh, it's changed owners a few times, but uh, still a working ranch and Right now we're in the midst of uh, restoring uh, some of the big barns and stuff on that ranch. So it's a really cool project and just, I'm so fortunate to be able to be involved in stuff like that. And, and uh, like I said, we've been here a long time, but it's just, it's, uh, it's a dream come true. And what's neat, we had a chance to record you some of your po poems you did. And we're gonna go ahead and throw that at that right now and you get to hear your poetry. Thank you. Jeff Dawson. I wrote a song and I thank everybody from uh, my dad to you to anybody I've ever met kind of morphed into this song and it's called Still a Cowboy. Let's go for it. Well, he was a lover and a fighter on a great rodeo rider. But today he's not feeling that way. His buckles are outdated and his wranglers are all faded. Most of his hair has turned gray But he remembers the road and in the chute they would load A horse they said he'd never try But his rigging's right, man his boots are on tight He makes one hell of an 80 point ride He's still a cowboy Feel like he's changed And his heart's just as big As it was back in the day He's his own kind of man Wears his own kind of brain Some folks say he's living We all know he's still a cowboy. Well, he wears boots and custom saddles. In his mind, he still battles. Tough one that he drew tonight. In his mind, he's a spurring. Now, them judges, they're conferring. 
He's made another 80 point ride Ernie he thinks of his life And some of the women in strife and He just smiles as he sips on his beer He ponders the past And thanks his maker at last He's just glad to be living right here He's still a cowboy He doesn't feel like He's changed His heart's just as big As it was back In the day He He's his own kind of man Wears his own kind of brand Some folks say He's living a dream But we all know He's still a cowboy He's still a cowboy Jeff, that was unbelievable. Thank you for being on Ag AM today in Kansas. Thank and you. I hope we have you back on soon. Get a hold of this guy. He's unbelievable. The Kansas Wheat Innovation Center in Manhattan is rediscovering ways to get improved varieties and new genetics in the hands of farmers faster. Grower-led and checkoff-funded research initiatives are bringing about positive change. This grassroots leadership provides a strong voice in Topeka and Washington, D.C. Now is the time to partner with Kansas Wheat in moving wheat forward. Kansas Wheat Commission and Kansas Association of Wheat Growers, farmers investing in their future and yours. Log on to rediscoverwheat.org.